it is pickup line time. So I am sitting at my kids' school waiting to pick them all up and I thought I would have my first run at a vlog since I'm sitting here parked and have a few minutes. I've not recorded anything in quite some time. I have a couple review videos and a packing video for our hospital bag and I had this like vision of recording the baby's birth and all our first days home with her and really sharing all of that fun you know, adjustment period with the new baby and four kids, but that didn't happen. We were headed back to school shortly after we had Father's Day hit, brand new baby, four other kids, summer vacation. It was bananas. So here I am. She's two and a half, almost three months old, and I'm ready to record a video. So I'm just really excited because I noticed this week that I had about 60 subscribers, which I know isn't a lot for YouTube, but it's super exciting for me because that means 60 of you like found me entertaining enough to watch again. So I'm super stoked and I just wanted to record a quick video and if it gets some good feedback, I will continue to do more around the house and about our family and what we're up to. I have, Chris and I have five kids. We have 10, nine, six, five, and little Ireland in the back. I, we actually are all, all three of the older ones are about to have birthdays. They're all like within a month of each other. So it'll actually be an 11 year old, 10 year old, seven year old, five year old, and baby. And our birthdays actually end up falling from the new baby all the way through Chris and the rest of the kids. We have a birthday a month from June on to November. And then we get smacked with Christmas. So it is nonstop party at our house. <laughs> Always some gift buying or party planning going on. But we would not change a thing. We have so much fun. The kids get along so great. We have a couple that like to pick on each other and feud, but what siblings don't. And we've got some great friends that we are just so blessed to have, and we just are fun, happy people. So you'll see more of that in the weeks to come, I am sure. And I'll probably post a few more review videos as well. I've got a couple new Jujube bags and products that I am just dying over and so in love with so far and I wanted to use them for a few weeks before I post anything just so I could give you a real um, honest opinion on them and I think I'm ready to do that and then I'm also considering ordering a doc -a tot for Ireland I kind of wish I'd ordered one sooner but I was having a hard time justifying the price and wanted to look around and see if there was anything else similar on the market but it doesn't look like there's anything that compares safety wise there's other things that are super cute and very similar and much more inexpensive but as far as safety is concerned I'd rather not take a $50 or $100 price cut in exchange for my daughter's safety so I think I'm gonna order one of those and I will post an honest review um, letting you know how I feel about it and I just think it's gonna be a really awesome item for us because laying baby on a couch I would hate for her to roll off we have tile floors um, laying on the bed I would hate for her to roll off it has happened if you have kids you know these little accidents just the split second you turn your head to look at someone else something can happen so I would just rather avoid that at all cost if possible so I think that'd be a, it's gonna be a great item for those purposes and then also I co-sleep with her now which seems to be going good, but I am concerned once she's old enough to roll that she might roll over towards Chris and he's not quite as aware of her in the bed. We have a king size bed and she's always pressed up against me and we're on the far side. So dad's never in our area right now, but I worry when she's able to roll. But as far as I can gather, the Docatot will prevent her from rolling or being so mobile because it keeps her nice and snug and she likes to be snug when she sleeps that's why she sleeps like pressed up against me she has to be touching me all the time so I'm thinking that could help alleviate that um if any of you own a docatot have used it or have any thoughts on it I would love to hear them I was really really uncertain about whether we would try it or not at first because I thought of it being a safety hazard be it that right now you know they say you know, no bumpers, no loose blankets and pillows because that was, you know, a, an issue with SIDS and I would never want to take that chance. But it seems that the makers of, Do of the Docatot have done a lot of research and a lot of thought has gone into the materials that they use, the fabric and the filling as well. And I've heard great things. So we're going to take the plunge and we're going to see what this thing's all about. So like I said, if you guys have one or if you've used one, let me know what you think about it and how long you've been using it too and how old baby is because I'm finding lots of reviews on newborns in it. I want to know how your three month old, your six month old, how your eight month old is still fitting in the, I believe it's the grand that's the smaller one for zero to nine months. 
Um, because there's a significant size difference between the two. So I'd love to hear um, how babies beyond the brand new newborn stage are doing in it. Um, if you guys have any suggestions for videos you'd like to see or anything you'd like reviewed, I'd love to hear that too. I am an open book. So any questions, comments, anything, please leave them in the box below. And if you liked the video, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe. There will be a lot more coming in the next few weeks or days even. I appreciate you watching and thanks so much. Have a great day, guys.